Shiva Masiakia was shot. All praises, dude. All praises. All right, now, before we even get started, man, um, what you're seeing right here is we, we don't authorize none of this stuff. I just want to straight and first and foremost say this is a clip of a camp uh, or or I don't even know if it's a real camp or if it's fake or what's going on, but it seemed like they're trolling. But nonetheless, my name is Brother Hawashai Zayan, and um, I don't condone what is what you're about to see on the screen. Neither does the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, which they falsely gave praises to while they're about to go against the scriptures. All right. So I praise Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashem Harakakwadash, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, through actions. All right. And uh, by adhering to the dietary law, which they're about to break, uh, but because they're all over there condoning this. But I'm going to let this play out, man. All right. I just want to give a little preface to that. And double honors to the true apostles and teachers at Great Millstone who taught us the true way and not the way that you're about to see right here. Okay? And I'm going to make my commentary and go into the scriptures on this. Praise. All right. Peace and salutations to you, Royal House of David. I hope y'all wasn't thinking that um, we was finna get out of here before I showed you the spread, right? We got to make sure these Pharisees is good and mad. So, Sergeant, take this. And there's no sergeant in the scriptures either. That's that's a false title, false narrative they're playing out, man. These guys is trolling. And they got the uh, Yiddish Hebrew over there, which is really not the Paleo Hebrew right on his chest, man. Going off. That's a Germanic language. And then he got the Paleo on top of that. And this guy's absolutely out of his mind. We in there? All right. We going to show the spread. All right. What we got over here, mama? We got... Chicken wings, fried extra crispy. We got pastries. We got cupcakes, cornbread. All right. We got red beans and rice with smoked sausage. All right. We got we got them collard greens with a little bit of Texas mustard. All right. And we got got some white rice. And then what we got over there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The mac and cheese. The mac and cheese. All right. On the quan, I heard you talking shit about me singing. I'm singing again, nigga. Look here. You got me in now? You got me. Y'all see the knife? Hmm? Oh. Y'all gonna love this. <clears throat> One for the money, two for the Pharisees. Look here. We got two hams with extra glaze for you niggas. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to get the first cut. So he's calling guys niggas um, in one respect. And look, look at what he's doing. You know, this, this is completely crazy, my brothers. Completely crazy. Like, this is next level. This next level blatant wickedness, um, never seen this before in my life, man. It's, uh, is when I'm being in this truth, this is unbelievable. Did you get it out? I want you to bring it in closer, closer. All right, we want that. We want to make sure we get some juice on the lands. Oh Ooh. Oh, look at that shit there. Uh, uh, uh. Man, look here, man. Y'all hating. Y'all know y'all want some of this. Y'all know y'all want some. I get first taste, y'all. Y'all see that there? Mm. <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, wow, man. And the, and the elder is about to do a video on that. So, like, that's that's crazy, hey, man. <sighs> you know, man, bro. Like, this guy right here, he he's something real evil, man. <laughs> This guy is evil, man. This is crazy. Crazy. So, you know, I'm going to have to go into these scriptures, man, and uh, do a spiritual breakdown now. The Lord did talk about this, brothers. He did talk about that these, you know, this was going to happen, man, that there was going to be people like this. And, uh, you know, we just got to basically do what we got to do in uh, rebuking this stuff, man, because this is wicked as all hell. 
And we cannot let this happen, man, you know? So without without making a commentary and doing a video on it. All right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so let's go into this, man. Um, let's go into the scriptures. Um, we're going to keep this weirdo on the screen just for, you know, so to put him out there, this guy is unrighteous, man. All right. And uh, let me look at this scripture. Let me go to Deuteronomy chapter number four, it's 14. Let me see. Right. All right, brothers. So let's go into the scriptures here. All right, here we go. This is a Deuteronomy, which is the second book of the law. Chapter number four, uh, seven, uh, excuse me, chapter number 14, verse seven it says, nevertheless, these shall not, these shall uh, ye shall not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the cloven hoof as the camel and the hare and the coney for they uh, salakia, for they chew the cud but divide not the hoof therefore they are unclean unto you furthermore the guy was just literally about to cut up some ham which is what you see right here all right and the swine which is what this is right there he's, he's eating swine because it divided the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, I mean it doesn't basically regurgitate as food, you know. It is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Now look at what he about to do. He about to go off on this right now. Look here. We got two hams. Uh, uh, uh. So that that's breaking the law right there, touching it, and now he about to break it by eating it. Look. Look here, man. Y'all hate. Y'all know y'all want some of this. Y'all know y'all want some. I get first taste, y'all. Y'all see that there? Mm. And they and they smiling in the background. The Lord gonna destroy all these guys, man. They doing it on camera too, just to mess with you. And they following this man right here. So this is another false messiah, basically, because that they're they're obviously being led by him not the lord so this is one of the, when the lord said many false messiahs or false anointed shall uh, uh rise up this is exactly what he was talking about this guy's a false anointed man he's basically pretending as if the lord is dealing with him and these guys are eating it up look at him about to smile in the background watch <laughs> they giving all praises and laughing look at him Make sure you keep that same energy, you you evil people, when the Lord destroys your ass, man. Because I promise you, the Lord is going to destroy you. I promise you, man. If you follow this guy, I promise you, you're going to get destroyed. If you see him, absolutely, you got to make sure that you avoid this man. Mark them. People like this, man. That cause divisions and also um, people who are contrary to the doctrine, man. This is this guy right here. Avoid him. Let's get the law, man. Once again, Deuteronomy 14 and 8 in the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. All right? So you've been warned. You have been warned. You put on notice. These are not part of the meats that are to be received with thanksgiving. This, this is not something that you could praise the Lord about. That's what that means. In the scriptures in the New Testament, if, if you can eat it with thanksgiving, then you could pray over it and it's clean. Meaning if you could give thanks to the Lord for it because it's a clean animal, then you're appreciative of the Lord's you know, word and everything and respect his word and fear the Lord. Now, these people, this guy and all these people here have no fear of the Lord. So what's about to happen to them? Destruction, nuclear missiles. You got to get the, you're going to get judged first out of everybody. So I hope it was worth it. I hope this little piece of shit ham over here was worth it to you, man. Are you touching it with your nasty little fingers and the Lord's going to destroy you? He's going to destroy you. 
He said, ye shall not eat of their flesh nor touch their dead carcass. And you eating and touching it, man. And you're teaching to do it. And you're touching and eating it, man. And you, so, you know, if you're assuming that that law is done away with, you out of your damn minds. This is Matthew chapter number five, verse 17. The Lord Yahweh said, think not that I come, that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am come not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Till all be fulfilled. Is all fulfilled? All right. And ultimately, the law of, of that is never done away. Of the dietary laws is never, ever going to be done away with. Matthew 5 and 19. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least. He shall be called least. Okay. This guy. Y'all know y'all want some of this. Y'all know y'all want some. I get first taste, y'all. You know that? Mm. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So I'm basically, you know, through the apostles of Great Millstone, been instructed and to teach, and I am teaching what was taught to us which is definitely not to do what this man is doing. You are not supposed to be eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, and none of that shit, man. It's all unclean. And if he's eating this, I'm sure he's eating shrimp and crabs and shit. This guy thinks it's clean. Even the Muslims, so-called Muslims, even they don't follow that shit, man. This guy's going, he's he creating a new thing, a brand new type of religion, man. Where you could be a Hebrew Israelite with a Christianity twist. It's just a it's just a new uh, false messiah, man. False. Oh, let me see here. False. Okay, let's get this here. Um, 2 Corinthians 11. All right, let me see here. Um, all right, 2 Corinthians 11 and 13 says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of so-called Christ, which this guy, he, he was never put on by anybody or, you know, sent out by any elder. This man just jumped out of nowhere and did his own thing with these guys. We've never seen these people. We don't know who they are. <laughs> None of these guys know the scriptures. Not one. You, you could confound them with one arm tied behind your back and half the Bible. But anyways... Verse number 14, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14 it says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And this guy is a deceiver, man. He's Satan, man. He's Satan, man. He's the adversary who's transformed into an angel of light. So he's coming through acting like he's a minister of righteousness. Okay. Um, 2 Corinthians 11 and 15 Therefore it is no great thing If his ministers Which is the servants of Satan Which is this guy as well As being an adversary Also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness Whose end shall be according to their works Okay So that's, what, that's ultimately what's going to happen This guy is going to die man He's going to have to pass away and be destroyed. 
he's a false prophet. You know, and there's plenty of scriptures about this guy. I mean, we just go in on his ass all day long. Let's get false prophets. There's been so many of them since I started preaching, man, oh, oh, a long time ago. It's just like so many people that, that come out the woodwork, man. You know, Matthew 24 and 24 says, For there shall arise false anointed, which is fa false Christs, that's this guy, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Now, remember that sin and all of that stuff would maybe beguile a woman for predominantly, but it's not going to get the men of the Lord. So you might, you know, appeal to the flesh of a woman. She'll say, oh, yeah, I remember what the taste of that was. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's probably just follow that because, you know, I don't want to stop eating that because it's everywhere. It's in every single um, commercial for fast food for a reason. They're paid big money to make sure that you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans who are really the Israelites can go and pollute your body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which temple ye are. And then this way, you won't serve your God, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and you'll be cursed. And that's just not what it's supposed to be. All right. So we got to avoid guys like this. You know, look, I'm going to keep his face all scrunched up looking stupid right there. Because that's exactly what this man is, is stupid and foolish. Okay. Second Peter 2 and 1, this is literally the coin scripture that should be really on this guy's chest. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And all of his followers, these guys... <laughs> All praises, all praises, huh? Yeah, all praises. Okay, all praises, he said. Remember that? This guy, remember this guy's face? I know those guys with that Yiddish and shit on their shirts. The Lord is going to take them down, man. He looked like he don't got a couple, he only got a few days left, man. You know, he, he looked like about a... Uh, Another bite of ham away from a heart attack, man. That shit gives you heart palpitations, all kinds of evil, man, inside of it. And we are to rebuke that, man. Once again, 2 Peter 2 and 1, the man you see on the screen. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who, shall, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. That means uh, false teachings. And... So like even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So the man's going to get swiftly, quickly taken out. So just as you see him today, he's going to be poof, gone tomorrow. That's what the Lord said, man, in the scriptures. These people are going to be destroyed. First John 4 and 1, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets... Y'all gonna love this. Okay, many false prophets are going out into the world. And that's this guy. That's him. And he looked like he's shaving his beard up, too. He carving his beard up. You know, what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to take a razor to your beard. You know, if you trim it with the clippers, that's different. But look, look at what this guy is doing. You see how pointy those edges are? More than likely, that's done with the with the uh, with the razor. Which you're not supposed to do that either. But does this guy care? Of course not, man. N not at all. <laughs> yeah. So this this dude is off, man. Jeremiah fourteen and fourteen. Um, Salaka, let me go to first first John four and one and, and um, it says believe. Let me repeat that that again. It says beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, 
because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Okay. Jeremiah 14 and 14. Then the Lord Yahweh said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you false, a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. That's this guy, man. That's this guy. Okay. One for the money, two for the Pharisees. Look here. We got two hams with extra glaze for you, nigga. That's why the scriptures say great men are not always wise. Just because that man has that gray hair, it doesn't mean he has wisdom. Then wisdom is basically the respect of the Lord. Really, the fear of the Lord is wisdom. And this, that means to respect the word. And he doesn't respect the word of the Lord. So he's going to get destroyed. All right. And to depart from evil is to get understanding. Job 28 and 28. He has not departed from evil. So he's going to have to be destroyed, man. And, you know, we're going to rejoice in the Lord, man. When a guy like this gets destroyed and taken out, you know, we're very serious about this. We're, we're not even doing this. I'm not making this video for no kind of clout, man. I don't give a shit about that. The Lord's going to destroy this guy. And I'm supposed to highlight that, man. And mark this guy, man. Mark him. You know, put the scopeo on his ass. We are watching this guy now. Okay. Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So get away from this guy. Right away. Get, get away from this guy right away, man. He's no good. He's to be avoided. Okay. And the apostles of Great Millstone, they're supposed to be, you're supposed to watch them. Okay. And so used to mark also the men of the Lord. You put the scopeo on them in a good way. This is the uh, book of, uh, I believe it's Philemon. 3 and 17, it says, Brethren, be ye followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us, for an end sample. And that's the apostles of Great Millstone. You put the scopeo on them. You carefully examine them in a good way. On the contrary, you're going to put the scopeo on this guy because he's contrary to the doctrine. Okay? So that goes twofold. As far as the word is concerned to mark people, you mark those who are good and doing the right things and you take note of them and you watch them. And you also watch the false people, too. You make a note of that, too. And you're supposed to put them out out there, man. OK. Second Thessalonians 3 and 14. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him. That he may be ashamed. And that's what happens. When you basically cut ties with somebody. Or, or you put the scope on a guy like this. And you take him. You know where basically he's not allowed to come into camp. You're not allowed to have conversations with the brothers. And you're not allowed to come around us no more. Because we've seen the guy like this. He's not allowed to come around us man. Period. According to the scripture. So that he could be ashamed of himself. But the way he looks. He's very prideful man. He's not he's not going to ever repent of what he's doing more than likely. You know, is there a possibility? Yeah, sure. But I highly doubt he's going to, man. All right. So, you know, with that, my brothers, you know, beware of these guys, man. <laughs> beware of these evil ass people, man. You know, he called people Pharisees because you basically you know, are saying that you need to keep the law of the Lord as far as the dietary law is concerned. And that is true. And all the law of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, minus the sacrificial laws, because when you read Hebrews, the 10th chapter, and it goes into the, the, the law of sacrifices was a shadow of things to come. It's basically highlighting Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. 
but Yahweh Shai didn't die on the cross so that this guy can eat him and go off on the scriptures and teach other men to do it too. Now you now you violating, man. We're offended by this. And woe unto you that offend one of these little ones that believe in me, the scripture says. For it'd be better that you tie a larger millstone around your neck and jump into the ocean than to offend one of these little ones that believe in me. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right. I'm going to read this last scripture and then uh, end it right there. This is 2 Peter 2 and 1 and 2. It says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're talking shit, saying you, you a Pharisee. That's evil. You're basically saying it in a negative connotation of, to be a Pharisee, which, it, which Paul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. There's righteous Pharisees too. It's not just a negative thing. And it really shouldn't be named as a negative uh, in a negative way. There was righteous and there was wicked. There was wicked chief priests and elders too, but there's righteous uh, priests and elders as well. You're going you're to have to search the word of the Lord and try every spirit and test. Like the scripture says, believe not every spirit, but test the spirits, man. Whether they be of the most high. Try the spirits, whether they be of the most high. Now, how do you do that? You match them up to the word of the Lord. If it doesn't make sense and the precepts are against it, which they are against this man, then you know that this man's a liar according to the word of the Lord. Because who are you going to believe? All right. This clown or the word of the Lord? Look what he's doing. You're going to believe this guy over the word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? Over the apostles of Great Millstone? You're going to follow this guy instead? It's much better for these guys who are in the background to go and sit your ass at the camp and sit down and learn, man. And you sit aside. If we won't let you in the camp because we're not taking members then you're supposed to sit over there as long as possible. Every week, taking notes, learning under the tutelage of brothers. Because the Great Millstone Brothers, that's official, man. And there's other brothers as well who are affiliates, who um, speak the same doctrine. They're a part of, overall, the body of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. But this guy right here is not part of the body. All right. Second Peter two and two and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And the way of truth is to refrain from eating that shit. And he doing it anyways, man. So, hey, Shalak Ryan on this guy, he looked like he got some bloodshot eyes and he about another bite away from death. He's soon to die, man. Call all your habashim, shy because I know that's going to happen, man. We're going to praise the Lord, man, when we find out about this guy's judgment, because we're we probably going to find out about it. Psalm 92 and 11, man. Mine eyes shall see my desire, and my ears shall hear my desire on my enemies that rise up against me, man. All right? So, hey, shalom, brothers. And with that, about the ball, man. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yom Shai, Hashem, Rakakwada, shalom.